Hi, I'm Wayne Bailey, University of Missouri Extension Entomologist, and today we're talking about the Japanese beetle. Usually they do not kill a flower, but in uh, many plants they will make them look uh, very displeasing because they will defoliate much of the vegetation that, that, that might be there, especially the, fruit, the fruiting bodies, which are the flowers. The threat on a bigger scale is that not only do they disrupt the vegetable producers and the uh, horticultural producers, but they also disrupt the ag producers with some of the field crops like corn, soybean, and wheat. Many people that have low numbers just simply pick them off and, and destroy them. Certainly you can use something like an insecticide, a, a seven dust or something like that that's sold over the counter for garden and vegetable use. And they're very effective at, at uh, killing the Japanese beetle, but you do have a lot of beetles moving into an area and they mer emerge for about a six week period. So it's gonna take more than one application to do that. The Japanese beetle traps can be beneficial, uh, certainly they bring in the beetles, but at the same time, they may bring in more beetles than what would normally be in the area. They are a pest of many, many crops, and we're going to have to deal with them for the next several years.